here in the Remington booth with Travis Tomasi, and he knows a little bit about competitive shooting. Remington's got a new competition pistol. I'll let Travis tell you about it. Go ahead, Travis. Thank you. This is our new 1911 R1 Limited. It's a new series we have that is, you know, you can use it for just about anything, but it's especially good for competition. It's got a adjustable rear sight, target sight, fiber optic front sight for extremely fast target acquisition, a forged frame, slide, stainless barrel, all the components are stainless, ambi uh, thumb safety, and we coat it in PVD. It's, it's an incredible finish. The grips are VZG10, so it's got some really good components. It's got a checkered front strap that is exceptional. It's just, when you shoot this, the control that you get, it's such a great purchase. Um, and we come with that, that's available in 40 cal and 9 millimeter. All right, thanks a lot. And what's your website, Travis? Uh, Remington.com. Please check us out. Thank you. I'm standing here with Brad in the American Tactical booth, and he's going to show us uh, a new MP40 he's got here in the arm production now. Go ahead and tell us about it, Brad. Guys, we got our uh, MP40 from GSG. It's finally 9mm. Uh, we just got our first run of production uh, last week. Uh, we shipped 90 out to distributors, so they are out there in the wild. Um, it comes with a 25-round magazine. Uh, if you'll notice, it, it ships as a pistol. Um, we're working on a stock. It's got to be uh, 922R compliant, so it's got to be made in America. Um, some some parts compliance issues. Um, the MSRP is six forty nine ninety five, and you can find them at uh, americantactical.us. Okay. Thank you, Brad. TC booth talking to Danielle. They've got a really unique uh, muzzle loader the way they've done it. You know, TC's been big into muzzle loading since you know decades, and now they've come up with something that I think is a real improvement. I'll let her tell you about it. Go ahead, Danielle. Sure. So this is our newest muzzle loader to the line. It's called the TC Strike. It's a striker fired muzzle loader. Um, so the barrels on this are an Armonite finish, so very very corrosion resistant. Um, it comes with the bases already on it. But also in the box, we also include fiber optic sights for the front and rear because in a lot of states, you you can't actually right. scope up your muzzle loader. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, it opens like an over and under. This is a very unique system. It's the adapt to breech system. So on a muzzle loader, a lot of times people complain about build up around their breech plug. Well, this one doesn't have a breech plug. The threads are actually on the outside of the barrel on this one. And then once you get this off, Inside of this, you have what's called a primer adapter. And there's two primer adapters that are sold with this rifle. One of them you use with um, loose powder, and then one also with pellets, okay? Uh -huh. So the one that's optimized for loose powder is very concaved, and it burns a lot faster and a lot quicker because the fire channel is shorter. So you lube this up, you put this in, and then once you get this back on, all you've got to do is put your primer in there, and you're ready to go. In addition to that, it is striker fired, as I mentioned. So all of our other ones are hammer fired. Uh -huh. This one's a little different because to get this to activate, all you do is push this forward. That activates the mainspring in the gun and then you can pull the trigger. If for some reason you can't get that shot off, all you've got to do is just push this button and that deactivates the gun. So it's really easy and safe to use. Uh -huh. In addition, one of the other features of this gun is it's a nice and easy gun to take down. The sling swivel here has two purposes, obviously for the sling swivel, but in addition, if you take that off, you can take your forend off. And then once you do that, I'm gonna drop all that stuff. <laughs> once you do that, all you have to do is just break this open, comes apart in two pieces. So if you're going on a long hike before your hunt, all you've gotta do is just pop this in a backpack, or if you wanna use this for cleaning purposes, you can just clean the front end of the gun. Yeah, so this is a great gun. Uh, MSRP on this is usually around $499. We also offer this in a uh, camo version and also in a wood version. Okay, and what's your website, Danielle? TCArms.com. Thanks, Danielle. You bet.
here in the Sig Sauer booth with Phil. He's got another version of his 320 he's going to tell us about. Go ahead, Phil. This is one of the prettier guns of the line. This is, uh, and, and Kyle Lamb would probably choke me if I said that out loud, but this is the, the gun we've been working with, uh, with VTAC on. We wanted to do a VTAC Series 320, and I thought the X Series line was a perfect place for it. We have our standard X Series grip cut down to a carry length to give it that cool 1911 look. Straight tr trigger as well. 317 round magazines. The uh, the slot has been contoured, cut with our serrations, lightning cuts on the top. We actually put the little linear cuts on the top to, to reduce glare. It's a 4.7 inch crowned pre-tension barrel, so we're getting great accuracy out of these guns. And the the really nice part about this are the VTAC day-night sights. Mm -hmm. Really interesting sights. They have a fiber optic uh, vials on the top and night sight vials underneath, so you can have them for day and night. But uh, beautiful package, comes with 317 round magazines, and MSRP on this gun is 918. What's the finish on this? So this is actually a flat dark earth finish mm -hmm. from uh, Ion Bond. So we're, uh, it's a very durable finish. It's, it's, the FDE is the new black, they say. Mm -hmm. And you can find out more about the 320 X-Series family guns at SigSauer.com. All right, thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Crossbreed holster booth with Nathan, and he got a couple new products. He's going to tell us about them. Go ahead, Nathan. Absolutely. So new for this year, we've got our new Arc Protector Series bag. This is a great uh, bag, essentially, that's been in use in a lot of different military applications, including protecting JDAM missile components in uh, underground storage facilities. So we really are bringing this to the consumer market to let our customers actually find a great way of protecting their valuables, maybe their firearm, ammunition, those sorts of things from uh, dust, water, anything like that. Also, this bag offers a great deal of uh, EMP resistance, uh, a lot more than what's currently on the market right now. So this is a great new product for us. You can check it out at arcprotector.com, which will take you right to the Crossbreed Holsters website. Another new one that we've got coming that will be coming out here pretty quick, probably close to the NRA show, is we've got our new Founder Series holster, and we're going to have a belt along with this as well. As you can see, it's got Mark's signature and the very first logo from the company on there. We're using a really nice old bridal leather style uh, leather that gives us really great grain to it, makes it a really nice holster. The belt, we think, is going to look incredible. Uh, also, just today actually, we have gone through and redone our crossover belt. Uh, in the past few various Aegis buckles, we've actually brought those buckles in-house. We've got a company making those for us now. So we've lowered the weight on the buckle itself, and we're going to be able to offer this in about 10 different colors by the time it's all said and done, along with your different colors of leather and five different stitch colors. So this is going to be a great one for us as well. So uh, we're really excited about these new products. You know, Crossbreed really changed the holster industry. Uh, you got a lot of imitators out there now. You know, but, we uh, do. Uh, but, you know, I guess that, that could be good, could be bad. Anyway, Crossbreed quality each other. I've got some of the holsters from a long time ago. They hold up really well, and you want your customer satisfied, right? Absolutely. We pride ourselves not only on having a great product, but we've also pride ourselves on having the best customer service in the industry. And I heard, uh, Nathan, that you scraped the hair off your face. Is uh, there some reason for that? I, you got a court date or what? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if I should even talk about that in public. I'm so embarrassed right now. Okay, all right. Well, thanks, Nathan. What's your website? It's crossbreedholsters.com. All right, thank you. I'm standing here in the Colt competition booth with J.D. Wilcox. They're chambering an AR for that new 22 nozzle cartridge. I'll let him tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, J.D. All right, so this is the CRP-18N. Again, like I said, it's chambered in the 22 nozzle. It's based off of the 6.8 special case, neck down to a 22. It's putting out a lot more velocity, um, and we're pairing it with our adjustable gas system. It's the same one we've had for the past five years. It's got the 26 position full open, a complete closed toolless gas block. Allows it to adjust the amount of felt recoil you get. So not only will you get a much faster bullet. 
6.8 magazine, is that right? I believe so, yes. Okay, and what's your website, J.D.? ColtCompetitionRifle.com right, Thank you, J.D. Yep, thank you. In the Armor Laser booth at Shock Show. I'm talking to Kim. Uh, they got some real good lasers. You know, we did a review on one a couple of weeks ago. It worked really well for us. In fact, we did two. I like how they go on there. I like how they fit the guns. And they fit guns that everybody don't fit. And they're really affordable. Anyway, I'll let Kim tell you a little bit more about them. Go ahead, Kim. Um, thank you for having me, first off. Um, right here, I have our GTO model. It, come, it goes on anything with a rail, and you can also put a strip underneath so you can actually do grip touch with it. What our grip, our grip touch allows you to do, instead of having a button here or a button there, there's a contact. So whenever you grip the gun, the laser is on. It's on while you're gripping it and off while you're not. It's effortless. It's easy. You don't have to think about it. Uh, the other great thing about our laser, as opposed to others, is you can adjust the sighting. We have windage right there elevation right there and then that is the battery door so you don't even have to take it off to change the battery um, if you ever wanted to practice without the laser being on there's also a way to turn it off so you can keep it on you never have to take it off if you don't if you don't want to um, however the other great thing about our GTO is it fits anything with a rail so if you have five guns with rails you can put five strips on, one on each gun, and you can actually move this from rail to rail as well. So we're also helping you offset the cost by having a more universal laser, for sure. And we also have competitive pricing as well. Our red lasers are 118.75, and our green lasers are only 178.75, and they all come with a five-year warranty. So we will fix it or replace it. Okay, thank you, Kim. What's your website? Uh, our website is www.armalaser.com, and feel free to call or email us at any time. All right, thank you, Kim. I'm standing here in the Pieta booth with Bryce and Sharon. They got a couple of good southern guns right here. Lamat, and I'll let them tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead. Well, on the Lamat, if the uh, nine shot of 44 doesn't get you, the 20 gauge most definitely should. You can either put a tw uh, 20 gauge under here or you can just drop a 50 caliber ball and really ruin somebody's day. This was made by the South for the South. Uh, it's a very, very powerful gun. Normally the cavalry, the gun was so heavy that they would not have it on their side. They would actually have it strapped to the horse. Right. Otherwise, you'd be falling off the horse. The horse would have to come and get your sorry butt. <laughs> what about the engraving on there? What is all that? Uh, the engraving, this is all laser etched. Uh, this is known as the God, this is the God Bless Dixie gun. It says it right across the barrel. It has the flag on the other side. It's an absolutely exquisite piece. I, I love this gun. It's beautiful. Uh, it's right. made by Pieta. And hook your website. The website is uh, pieta.com. All right, thanks a lot. We're in the Smith & Wesson booth with Jan. They've got some new variations of their M&P 15 rifles and he's gonna tell you about them. Go ahead, Jan. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. So we're showing here in the booth some of our new MP15 rifles. Uh, first off, we have the MP15T Tactical, which I'll show you right here, and it's newly designed with a slim, free float MP handguard with Magpul M-lock slots to accessorize the handguard. Comes standard with two Magpul M-bus folding sights, a pencil thin barrel, one and eight, five R rifling for a nice, accurate shot. So that's the new 15T rifle. In our uh, Magpul, M&P 15 Magpul series, 
we have a new M&P Magpul Original Equipment Midlink Gas Slimline Rifle. This one here is in the flat dark earth finish uh -huh. and it uses Magpul Slimline Furniture, a mil spec sliding buttstock, pistol grip, and front handguard, again with Magpul M-Lock accessories. Also has a 1 and 8 twist 5R rifling barrel and a standard Magpul M-Bus rear sight. Uh, all these rifles are available now at about $1,200 MSRP. And what's your website? Our website is smith-wesson.com for more information on any of the products we see here in the show. All right, thank you, Jan. Okay, thanks, Jeff.